Hi, everyone. So um, thank you for the introduction, Francesca. Can everyone hear me well? Cool. So um, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of demoing in this, um, in this talk. Um, a lot of this is infrastructure that we used um, internally at Float um, last year before we launched our, our contracts. And uh, we found at the time that contract testing, uh, the contract testing available um, at the time wasn't really sufficient. So we ended up building some tools to help us um, mock internal functions um, to make sure that our contracts were safe and bug free. Um, so firstly, you know, why do we break up our code into functions? Um, the, you, you know, sometimes code's much easier to read if it's all in one place. You don't have to jump around, move, move around, but um, functions encapsulate complexity. And um, in Solidity, um, conceptually encapsulating pieces of complexity is very useful. And um, we compose programs together by building up how these functions interact. And in Solidity, a lot of the functions that we use, you do not want to expose publicly. Uh, but we still need to, uh, to test those functions really well. And we, we also need to test um, functions that call those internal functions. Um, but we don't want to test everything at once. Um, we want to test um, the individual units. So you need to have a way to mock those internal functions. Um, so what we did at, at Float was we used uh, um, an existing library called Smock, um, which allows you to test external functions, uh, sorry, mock external functions, but it doesn't allow you to mock internal functions. And we did some inheritance trickery that I'll, I'll show you very soon um, to basically make sure that that um, that we can do that. So let me go to my code. Sorry. There we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'll uh, push this code to GitHub soon. I do not know what is wrong with GitHub at the moment. Um, but here is our uh, a demo repo. I'll share the link to the GitHub um, of this afterwards. It has all of our um, contracts that are on mainnet currently, um, or I should say um, on Polygon and Avalanche. Um, and then I'll show you a very simplified contract because, um, yeah, our contracts are quite wieldy and I actually want you to understand what's going on. So just as an example, um, yeah, let's, let's take a look at that. Oops. Um. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, would you mind making a widget with it? Yeah. And let's hide that sidebar. Make that a bit smaller. Is that good? Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Update. So. Ah, yeah, that's the one I want. So this is an internal function that gets called quite a number of times in our, in our contracts. Um, and uh, it calls some other internal functions like claim and distribute yield, um, getting the various token prices, et cetera. And when we, when we wanted to test this, um, it wasn't sufficient for us to just inherit this contract and, and make this public. To test it, we wanted to actually um, mock out these functions, which are complicated in their own right, so that we can test that this function does what we want it to do. Um, so I can show you the result of the code gen over here. So the, these files are all auto generated. Um, and the, yeah, the code's on GitHub. So we've got um, these mockable functions 
which are um, basically a way to redirect things. So it's, it's nothing complicated. Um, we inherit the contract we want to, uh, to mark. Let's actually go to long short. Um, we inherit from the, the contract we want to, uh, we want to mark, which is um, long short over here. We then specify an external contract, which is a marker. Uh, that we use for marking, and then we set the function that we want to mark. Let's hide that. And uh, here you can see um, a function that um, either uses the original function or it uses the mark. Um, so this is just a, something simple that anyone can write, but we've just um, auto-generated it. And then we layer on top. Yeah, let me also show you the internal marking. It's basically just stubs that return um, like empty data that we, can, that we can use. And then the cool part is when we actually integrate this all. So let's go to an example contract. Um, it's a very simple contract that, that we can understand in a few minutes that actually does nothing useful. Um, so yeah, we've got this function, make number go up, so it's some sort of Ponzi game, I guess. And it calls out to two DGEN protocols, um, and it does something. So here we've got a function that does something, and uh, here's the internal function that we want to test. We want to take this um, uh, this result and yeah let's actually remove that for now um, and we want to call the next dgen function with that result so we want we want we want to make sure that this function does this very simple thing um, obviously it can do a whole bunch of other interesting stuff in between and uh, your tests would have to check that, but we don't want to test this, and we don't want to test this. So how do we do that? Um, let's go to the code. Um, so excuse the language that this is in. Um, it, should, it should look familiar, but this is in um, reason slash rescript. Um, but essentially here you can see we make the smock of that internal contract and set it up, and then we specify which function we are going to be internally mocking. Then we um, basically set up that other external contract um, here, DGEN protocol 2, um, to be um, another smock. And over here, we actually um, specify what those mocks return. And under the hood, this is all just using, um, using smock. And actually, um, this just transpiles down to J JavaScript. Sorry for the indentation. Lots of, um, <laughs> lots of async callbacks, so not super nice to read. Um, but yeah, I'm just telling you that this is just JavaScript um, in the end of the day. And then um, over here, you can see we call the function and check that the two internal functions were called with values we wanted. So we, we specify what we want those internal functions to return. And we make sure that they get called with the correct arguments. So we can actually run this. Um, yarn test, so it's already compiled. This shouldn't take too long. So like I've mentioned, this is using, um, this is using Smock. Um, I know a lot of people are super interested in uh, Foundry and Forge, um, so I'm not, finished uh, with that integration. Um, but I have done some initial work to, to get it working with, um, with 
with uh, Forge, which is really cool. Um, the tests run way faster than this. So here you can see this test passes. And now if we go back here to the code and introduce a bug and rerun this test, it will fail, which is which is what we want. We, we don't care what this function does and we don't care what this function does. We just care how this unit um, of this internal function um, works. Um, I'll quickly stop there for questions and after that I'll show you some initial work um, uh, into adding this to Forge and also I'd lo love to you know gauge interest in this uh, in this work and uh, um, I'm very much open to to collaboration if other teams want to use this this code yeah there we go here it is and it fails so it expected this number but it got okay well this number is five bigger than this number <laughs> um, yeah does anyone have any questions I'm, I went through that quite Quickly. Sure. Um, for sure. So the question is did I modify smock, like make a fork of smock, or did I just build on top? Yeah, how is um, it actually working? Yeah, yeah, so I've built on top. Um, I've, uh, yeah, I can actually show you. Um, what I've done, where is it? Yeah. So over here, these are all auto-generated interfaces. Um, as you can see, I do like using Rescript. I like typed languages. Um, but yeah, these are bindings to both Smock and um, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, Hard Hat. And I can show you the exact, so, so yeah, just by the way, this produces very clean, readable um, JavaScript. Um, so if we go to the smock, if any of you have used smock before, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, so you import DeFi Wonderland smock. Um, you've got expect and use, um, which are Chai matches, and then um, over here we've got um, make, and if we go to the bindings, we can also see. Um, no, it's not there. Sorry. Smock. Um, smock general, here it is. So yeah, you can see the, the binding. Um, I hope that answers the question. <laughs> um, yeah, ba basically, um, we've written like a few wrapper functions uh, that get auto-generated so that you don't have to type out every function yourself in the code. Um, all of these functions already exist. Um, What's a demo? Yeah, like all of these, all of these functions just get auto-generated. So we check that um, this function was called with this argument. Time's up. Um, thanks, guys. Um, the code for forges on online. As I said, there are some things that need refinement. So. Um, hopefully chat to some of you later. Great, thank you, Jason. So.